Well, this Labor Day, when you fire up the grill, wow your guests with the perfect steak. And who better to learn from than the people at Delmonico's. Love this place. Joining us now, Billy Oliva, the executive chef at Delmonico's, has some great recipes. And that is a thick steak, Yes, Billy. it is. About 22 ounces of Delmonico ribeye. Oh, so today genius. what we're going to do, we're going to be grilling Delmonico ribeye with a Tabasco chipotle marinade. Okay, you say so to get this out and make it room temperature. Why is that important? Uh, it's important because you don't want to take it right out of the refrigerator cold, yeah. stick it onto the grill. It kind of tenses up. It, it'll, it'll make the meat a little tough. So room temperature, I don't cook slow, the juices do stay, stay back into it. And just salt and pepper on top. Just salt and pepper, and we're going to have a little chipotle marinade. That adds a great smoky flavor to your meat. Why don't you go ahead and brush that on? Absolutely. Tell me what's in it. In the chipotle uh, you, have, you have roasted garlic puree, you have shallots, salt and pepper, uh, Tabasco chipotle uh, sauce, which is great. It's uh, really good. We use yeah. a lot of that. If you like a little spice, Pretty generous go. On a lot here? of flavor. Yeah, it's okay. a great smoky flavor. Excellent. That's great. Okay. We can, now we're going to be doing also some corn, which we have here on the grill. And I have one of these. Why don't you uh, grab some corn butter there? Tell me what is, the butter is. It's a Tabasco honey butter glaze. So just brush that on. Tabasco and honey butter honey glaze. Honey butter glaze. Yeah. That's that sounds Use original Tabasco sauce for that. Adds a nice, and it really enhances the flavor of the corn. Little sweet, little spicy. And I see these grilling over here in the husk. What yeah. does that do for it? Uh, this adds a little bit. I like to give, when you have a little uh, caramelization of the corn, it, it brings up the sweetness in the corn. So we like to do it in the husk. And then as we go, as the corn cooks, we'll peel the husk off and it's ready to go. Perfect nice way and easy. to accompany this is a nice glass of Malbec. You say, I've had this one, Almost, nice Argentinian yeah. wine. It's a great Malbec to go with steak. Why is great, that? Nice rich flavor, uh, intense blackberry and nice fruit. And you just can't beat it with a good steak. You also can't beat the price. It's thirteen dollars a bottle. Yeah, amazing. And that's a yeah. top-notch wine, folks. Thirteen dollars. Okay. When we come back in the after the show show, that is after this program on the internet, we're going to talk about the swordfish, exactly how you cook that, how long, and some delicious recipes. Great. And that is with grilled fruits also. Sounds Billy good. Billy Oliva from Delmonico's restaurant. You got to check them out. And more from Billy in the after the show show. Guys, he was cheers. asleep in his answer to Maria, then he woke up during the food segment. That's why we pepper food segments in throughout the show. Steak. Food on the brain, corn, buddy. Corn, corn, please. That's how it works. All righty, coming up, a Marine comes home from Iraq with his.